Hi, my name is Nathan, and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Our daily word for today is the word everything. Let's say that word together. Everything. So what does that word everything mean? When you think of everything, it means all things. So not just one thing. Everything means it's all things. So let's think of some ways we can say that. Let's think of some example sentences that we can use. For example, if you go into a candy store and you love candy, you would say, I want to eat everything. Not just one thing. You love candy in general. You love all candy, so you want to eat everything. For example, I love playing music. And when I go into a music store, I want to buy everything. Not just one thing. I want to buy all the things. So everything, it's all encompassing. Everything is all things. Or for example, you could say, I loved everything about that movie. What that means is it's not just one thing in the movie you liked. You might say, I liked the acting, or I liked the production, or the visual effects, or the soundtrack. But if you say, I loved everything about that movie, It means you loved the acting, the directing, the writing, everything, all things about that movie you loved. There was nothing about the movie that you didn't like. Same in the candy store. There's nothing you would not buy. Or for me in a music store, there's nothing I would not buy if I could buy everything. So when you think of everything, think of all things. So now that we have a basic understanding of the word everything, let's put it back into the scripture in Philippians 4, 13. In verse 13, it's saying that I can do all things. I can do everything in Christ who strengthens me. I can do everything. So remember, all things. So let's take that. Let's take that first part and understand that. Everything means everything. Now, what that doesn't mean, for example, I'm not a very tall man. So, oftentimes when you look in professional basketball, people who are short don't really do well. And people who are short and don't have a lot of basketball talent probably won't be playing professional basketball. But what we have in this verse is saying that I can do everything in Christ who strengthens me. The everything is all the things that are truly important to your life that the Lord has provided. So again, it's everything that is truly important to your life the Lord has provided. For me, the Lord has not provided the opportunity and the need for me to go play professional basketball. So that's not something that I'm going to include in my list of everything. I'm not going to sit back and say, well, in Philippians 4.13, it said I can do everything in Christ who strengthens me. I have to have wisdom and discernment to say, the Lord is going to use me to please him with the things he's given me. But with those things he's given you, this is important, with the things he's given you, everything in there you can do. And here's the second part, in Christ who strengthens you. This is not just a motivational speech. This is not just trying to get you to be uplifted and encouraged and hopeful. It's saying that in Christ, being united to Christ as Him being your Lord and Savior and King and Him being your daily bread, the things that sustain you, the stream of living water that comes out of you, that His presence in your life as King of everything in your life will provide you the strength to do everything. That is the correct sequence. That first, you'd go to Christ as your everything. That He is what pleases you. He is what sustains you. And through that, you will do everything because of Christ in your life. So when you go to work and it is hard, nearly impossible, with fellowship in Christ, because of Him, you can do it. 
And not only will you survive, you will prevail and you will succeed. That is the truth of the gospel, that with the things he's given you, so not just a general all things, with the things he's given you, you can do everything on that list and you can succeed with everything on that list because of Christ in your life, because he has prepared you for these things and he has prepared these things, everything for you. That is an amazing promise, an amazing power we have behind us as we go into our day, knowing that we can do everything in Christ. Well, that does it for today's episode of The Daily Word. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And more importantly, go ahead and try to use this word. What are some things that you love? What are some things where you love everything about it? Think of some ways you can use the word everything. But again, think about what that means, that you can do everything in your life because of Christ. And think about that sequence. Are you going to Christ first? Are you, no, are you understanding what the everything is on your list because of what God has prepared for you and prepared you for? Well, my name is Nathan, and this was your Daily Word. See you next time.